One other uh, aspect of the unit that I was teaching, and this is the power electronics, which has about 85 students, is that it is uh, heavy in diagrams waveforms. So drawing the waveforms is one of the things that I was thinking to do. I was a heavy user of the whiteboard, and sometimes the whiteboard is not available to me to write on the uh, screen, it's covering it, and I cannot use that. And so I was looking for a solution. So that's where I um, thought of using the iPad uh, and uh, get some software uh, apps and uh, try to use something like Dosely. Um, so when we introduced Dosely, I was very happy that I can use it. But in addition to that, I tried uh, different other apps uh, similar to that one. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, I had a, a meeting with uh, Diana and she mentioned about the document camera that it is so easy to use why don't you use it. So I started using the document camera and then I found that much of my problems can be addressed by using the document camera. In the meantime, some uh, real problem came in, that is the marking of the assignments. I started uh, uh, getting uh, online submissions for the assignments last semester as part of another project. And when I uh, tried to give the feedback through the rubrics, uh, it was uh, not sufficient. Like there was no way of uh, making any annotations on the submitted files for the student to see where they have gone wrong. And I was looking for a way to give more feedback to the students. We can use uh, these annotations in the PDF uh, reader, uh, that is the Acrobat uh, reader. We, when you open this uh, comment field, you can get the annotations. Under the annotations, one is this uh, uh, add sticky note like this. So if you want to make a comment, you can type anything uh, like this. Uh, so it will appear like this. So my concern is that when the students get the feedback like this, although we write a lot, whether we, they will actually go there and open and see. So I wasn't exactly happy with this appearance. Not convincing. Not, not, not convinced. So I was looking for some other options. And then I opened this uh, draw markup and where you can find the text box where you can uh, write anything um, like this it will be there um, so I, I found that is probably the best way of giving the uh, feedback and in addition to that if you want to show some place where it has gone wrong you can use this uh, pointed arrow with the text box works like this to show exactly where. This is how I started. So my tick marks all are hand drawn. Sometimes it goes wrong way, so I have erased and put it back again. So it took a lot of time at the beginning. Started using the stamp quite a lot. So I found that stamp mm -hmm. here and it makes your work much much easier. So this stamp is symbol is there and if you go in there you you get uh, this is all what I created oh. the stamps. Um, so you can create stamps and put it into different categories like assignment 2, assignment 1 and so on. You can put them in there and there are ready-made uh, stamps as well. So you can use those ones and uh, finally there's a favorite uh, column uh, where you can put all the commonly used ones in there. So once you open... Sure, recycle. Yeah, so basically wow. it's like That's this. Cool. Uh, one, all your stamps will appear like this all the time. So what you need to do is to mark, you drag and drop, uh, let's say you click this one and drop there and that's your tick mark. But I think the time taken for marking itself has reduced quite a bit. Even if you use a word file and get a copy and paste, it takes a lot of time. Yeah. So I dropped that idea and you yes. started using the stamp. So this is my yeah. old way of solving my yeah. problem. Yeah. Yeah. You can have a look what I have done. So um, these are the feedbacks. See, this is a stamp that I drag and drop, and the marks for different sections. So it's very rich in uh, content for the feedback.